Well, did you have a relationship with Bill Cosby? At that time, yeah. Yeah. And he, he really didn't like me because, like, uh, I wasn't the yes man. You know, everybody was impressed with his money. So, as a matter of fact, to show you what happened, uh, because the, the, the group, the young men we produced, they actually did the last Jay Leno show. He flew him out to L.A. And I was, you know, I was a part of the band. He said, no, I'm not flying set out there. <laughs> he left me in New York. <laughs> so, so, you know, Bill was Bill. You know, he liked people who made him the center of attention. You know, if you go against the grain, you was pushed to the side. I mean, when you see where Bill Cosby is right now in prison with all the rape charges and everything else like that, does it surprise you or, or not so much? Uh, honestly, I don't think he did any of that. I think he rubbed some people the wrong way and it came back and bit him in the ass. Now, if you ask me, he deserves it. I'm not going to take that away because, like, to me, he's a, he's a total asshole. I'm going to be real. But I don't think he did that. I mean, the man's a mil Look, what millionaire, you know, have to drug somebody to get some ass? Come on, man. That's, that's all. This is all. He rubbed some people the wrong way, and it came back to bite his ass. Comma. As he, told, as he once told somebody, comma comes back to get you. So Kama came back and got his ass. Oh, yeah. No, I've interviewed uh, a lot of people that he rubbed the wrong way. Uh, D.L. Hughley, you know, yeah. he called into his show and bashed him on the air for using the N-word. Uh, I remember one of the actresses from uh, Booty Call, like, he bashed her whole project, you know, the whole movie. And, oh, you shouldn't have body parts being, you know, marketed and, and you know, in, in the black community and, and that sort, sort. And, you know... You come to find out that he was actually <laughs> doing more underhanded stuff than everyone he was talking about. And, and that, that's the whole problem is that he, he was so high and mighty with everyone else that when he actually was in a position for people to, to swoop in, everyone swooped in. That's what I'm saying. Karma comes back and bites you. Whether yeah. he did it or not, karma comes back and bites you. It's all deserving. Well, and now you have a new project. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tell me about it. Uh, once again, uh, Keith and uh, Sharon, his business partner, came to me and they said, said, because I had actually had an album, uh, a solo album deal that the label lost their distribution deal. So my solo album never came to light. But uh, Keith and Sharon came to me and said, we think you should do a solo album now. And that's how it came about, you know. Sharon, the, the Delta 5 beat, Sharon said, here's this, hook it up. And I did the vocals, you know, and I love it, you know. I love it, and it's getting good, tremendous feedback. So, you know, I feel good about it, you know. Yeah, uh, Delta 5, dope name, yeah. too. Yeah. It's a series of deltas, you know. Once again, Keith gave me the name Delta. <laughs>